today we're focusing on Gemini. I want to show off some of the newer features that we didn't really go into detail on. Okay, so naturally, we went to Gemini and we asked for a lesson plan today, which I thought was the smartest thing to do. And what we actually did was we said, right, take the transcription from last week and or from last from two months ago, sorry, and show us what we missed or show us what we should cover for a little mini Gemini masterclass. So here's what it came up with. So first, we'll cover like where Gemini sits in all of your different Google Workspace apps. We'll then go through deep research and Canvas, show you guys what those are, how to use them. I did use deep research for this one, and I'll, I'll use this as a demo example as well. AI-powered content creation. I think this is a good example. I don't know if we're going to go deep into Notebook LM because we did that last time, but if there's something interesting, we might do that. And then job descriptions, interview questions, things like that. We have been using it a lot for that. Effective prompting that I covered a little bit last time, so probably not too much. Now, the first question that you're probably thinking or you've probably come across as you've been using it is which which model should I use? There's these drop downs here. When you open up a new chat, you've got these options to use different models. There's a flash model and there's a pro model. The flash model is just basically faster, but it doesn't think as hard about the questions. So if, for example, I'm, I don't know, down the street and I say, you know what, like, give me the top 10 sing-along karaoke songs because I'm getting drunk with my Filipino team and, and I want to know the best karaoke songs. I'd probably use a flash model for that because it's it's kind of like one step removed from a Google search. It's just a little bit smarter, a little bit more in depth than a Google search. But if I say, hey, you know, how can I optimize my tax because I'm living in another country and how can I manage the importation of personal effects into the new country that I've moved to? That's the kind of thing I'm probably going to go to pro. Or if I say, hey, can you have a look at this transcript from an interview that my team did with a candidate and I want you to use the transcript and read the candidate's CV and read the job description and tell me from the interview, from the job description, from the CV, like, is this person the right fit for the role? And what questions should I ask when I do a final interview with them as the owner of the business? That's the kind of thing I'd be going to pro. It takes maybe an extra 10, 20 seconds for it to think about it, but you're going to get much, much better answers. So you can choose those. I think if you type out a prompt and then change it, it it should keep it there. Yeah, it does keep it there. It doesn't eat your prompts, which is uh, which is nice. Thank you, Google. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.